Vancouver's Oppenheimer Park is now surrounded by a fence with no tents and no one in sight. More than 200 people called this place home just a few weeks ago. Cleanup is set to begin here at Oppenheimer Park after hundreds were moved out of this former encampment. But now tents are popping up at other Vancouver parks and homeless advocates are voicing serious concerns about the housing alternatives being offered. People are moving in and then their basic needs are not being met. Uh, most critically with regard to harm reduction services. The province gave the public an update Wednesday, saying that by end of the day, three of the largest homeless encampments in the province would be cleared, including the one here on Vancouver's downtown east side and two others in Victoria. Over the past uh, three weeks or so, we will have moved 600 of the most vulnerable people in British Columbia uh, from encampments into housing with wraparound services. One Vancouver city council Councillor says, while well, it's a promising step, it's far from enough. Why would they have just targeted the three places where homeless people are the most visible? And why would they have made it a condition of getting housing that you had to live in one of those parks? Because there's hundreds, thousands of other people that are homeless that couldn't get housing because they didn't live in those parks. We need housing for everybody that's homeless. Pivot Legal Society says it's concerned current conditions may put more lives at risk without proper supports. These emergency buildings are being run in a way where they're highly securitized and block guests, uh, supposedly in the name of protecting people from COVID-19, but that's contrary to public health advice that uh, substance users need to continue to engage in peer witnessing so that they don't overdose and that the risk of OD death is actually much more severe than the risk of death from COVID-19 right now. Meanwhile, some tents have gone up in and around Crab Park. The Port of Vancouver has since filed for an injunction to have them removed, claiming the campers are trespassing. Passing. We're not here looking to chase people out of parks where there may be people encamped, a few people here or a few people there. Uh, it was about dealing with two very large, very significant uh, public safety and health issues uh, in these encampments. By closing a camp, you don't get rid of any of those realities. You just displace them into other areas where they're less visible to the public. In Vancouver, Isabel Regam, City News.